Hello and welcome back to yet another episode of the Conversion of Lifeboat Hooge. This week we are looking at loads of little jobs I've been doing. Some of them very evident, some of them kind of disappear never to be seen again. What they all need doing. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So this is part of the mains electric that's gone in this morning. I'll take you through to the other side. And that's where they come out, where the galley's going to be. It's still loosey-goosey at the moment, but that will get sorted. Here you can uh, see me test fit a sheet of plywood that I've painted before it's four mil ply which will nicely bend as you can see i roughly cut it to size leaving it slightly longer than i need it so i can do the final tweak in the boat It took me a bit of toing and froing to find out how to best get the wall piece in and I realised I had to hook it in from the bottom behind the side wall and then move it into shape and it would ping into place which worked fine in the end and uh, it was good to get that in and actually see what the rest of the boat will look like when it's all done. first wall panel off I had to cut a slither off the edge because there's going to be a light in between the two panels that go on that side so I wanted to make sure that it was at a right angle from the tray from the solar panel so it looks right because in boat building it's very much a case of if it looks right it is right New bit of wool that's gone in yesterday. So one of the things I've been doing this week as well is putting a skin fitting, which um, this is called the skin fitting itself. I've chosen for a brand called Drew Design. I'm not sponsored in any way, but um, I didn't want to go for metal skin fittings as uh, the chance of electrolysis, even though it's small on a GRP boat, I thought why not stick with the same material. So this is what goes through the hull, clamps up with a big nut like that. Then a ball valve goes on that with a handle, I don't know if you can see, there's a ball valve in there. A bit stiff being new that's shut and that's open that just connects on there with some ptfe tape to make it watertight and um i think it's 120 or 110 degree um hose fitting hose tail which again goes in there um the easy thing about this is it's got a nice big handle to operate it and when it's like that the valve is shut and if it follows the pipes 
it's open which is very easy um, I've put one in just over the water line there which is going to be for the grey water the shower and the wash basin in the heads um, here you see me cutting the last bit of flooring for the utility room um, it's a subfloor there's going to be another floor on top of it it's been sealed underneath with primer and floor paint so no water can penetrate and um, it's just to get the floor finished in the utility room So I'm painting the floor in the utility room, it's a water-based primer, so it doesn't smell, which is good because when you're working in such a small space, to be honest. Um, just to seal it and to stopping the floor from getting dirty because we'll be in and out of here quite a bit. So all the electrics will be going in this room, um, the, the mains and the 12 volts, the um, controllers for the solar panels will go in here and hopefully the um, chlorifier because that works on both the mains and on the cooling of the engine and as, as I'm sitting right next to the engine box it's the most logical place to not have pipes that go for miles and miles. So uh, I'll just finish doing this. So I finished painting the floor as far as I could get it because um, the batteries will have to be moved. This week I also put a bit of wall in, insulated behind it. There's a start of the electricity as I've shown you before. Some more insulating to do around the porthole and get some wall cladding up there starting to come together nicely in the utility room and it's nice to work from room to room really that's not always possible and that was another episode of the conversion of lifeboat hygge i hope you enjoyed it if you did please like and subscribe and hope to see you next week bye